How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. I hope everybody's doing well and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. I think everybody will agree when I say that our children and grandchildren are the most precious things on earth and most of us will do anything in our power to protect them. But this next story that I'm going to talk to you about makes you think this is all they got to protect our children. There's definitely other things that can be done to protect our children in schools than this next crazy idea that someone has come up with. A Miami professor has developed an index card size tool that can deter mass shooters. A clinical research professor at the University of Miami has developed a tool roughly the size of an index card that could protect victims during a shooting or other threatening scenarios. Professor Brian Arwari said that he was concerned with the frequency of mass shootings especially in schools, and began researching a way to use science to deter possible attacks. He led an eight-person team that developed and patented an invention called LightGuard, a small LED-based lighting system that can temporarily impair the vision of shooters and other attackers. The device can give people time to seek safety until the police arrive. Arari said that the light has the power of 30,000 lumens, making it bright enough to cause temporary blindness. So they say it's going to temporarily impair the vision of shooters or attackers, but it won't impair the vision of other people like students, teachers, or police officers? What? That makes no sense. Arari said, people tend to process stuff visually. So if you're going to impair somebody, you want to impair them visually. About 80% of what we process is visual. So if you take away somebody's eyesight, you're taking away a lot. So we zeroed in on how could we impair the vision of a shooter. But remember, it's not going to impair the vision of anybody else like students, teachers, or police officers. We know that's not true. Arari explained that the device is mounted to a wall and can be activated using a panic button or an app. When it is activated, it will start to flash. He explained how it can be used in a school setting. Before I continue, there's a 25 second video that I'm going to show near the end of this video that shows an animated version of what this guy is talking about. And let me tell you, you definitely want to watch it. In a classroom, for example, you would have it aimed at the doorway or any other entry. Or you can have it mounted in a hallway and aimed at the top of the stairwell for people coming up the stairwell, he said. So if you're going down the stairwell and leaving the building, you're fine, but if you're going up the stairwell, it's going to hit you in the face. Arari added, once the attacker is visually impaired, the victim has the opportunity to reclaim your advantage over the person. I can now maybe wrestle it out of his or her hands or flee to safety. Also, there may be a startled response. When a person with a gun gets flashed, that person then runs away, he said. I think most people that are there to do harm to anybody that's in that building is not going to turn around and run away once the lights start to flash. They're going to start shooting. If it gets to the point when the cops get there and they have to exchange fire with a person, it's good that you know the person is partially blinded by this device. According to the University of Miami, local police departments and SWAT teams have tested the device and expressed optimism about its effectiveness. Y'all really believe that, don't you? Because I don't. The light guard device also notifies law enforcement of the emergency once it's activated. It has already been tested at the University of Miami. Well, of course it was. That's where they developed it. While Arari and his team are starting with classrooms, they have bigger plans for expansion. And here's where they're focused on installing it. The first one is LGTBQ clubs, synagogues, religious schools airport security checkpoints, courthouses, government buildings, bars, military bases, government embassy buildings, movie theaters, prisons, convenience stores, hospitals, and fast food restaurants. And we think it can be used on airplanes and cruise ships. Really, on airplanes. He said they want to protect as many people as possible. The team began selling a limited number of devices in June and hopes to expand sales in the future. I'm now going to play the 25-second clip of this fantastic new device that's going to save lives. Ooh. 
What do you guys think? Isn't it awesome? It's definitely going to save lives. No, it's not. First of all, every school in this country, of course, all the doors should be locked. If possible, a single entry point. There should be no glass anywhere around where a bad guy can just break the windows out or shoot the, those windows out. And of course, there should be at least one armed Leo at each school. And it's true when they say, the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. That is, if the good guy with the gun is willing to risk their life to save our children, which wasn't the case in the Florida mass shooting. So in the video we saw the guy with the gun just opened the door and walked into the school. So I just covered that. So when he encountered the police officer, the police officer puts his hand out and the guy actually stops. So then the police officer can activate these lights. Of course, the first thing a bad guy would have done is shot at that police officer. And I guarantee you, even if those lights were activated, a bad guy is not going to drop his gun on the ground and turn around and run out the door. I think most people's instinct would probably be to try to shoot out those lights. And then at the starting, having those lights in the classroom, you saw a teacher and children in the classroom with the lights up on the wall. If a bad guy got in that classroom where they are, and somebody activates those lights, like I said earlier in the video, it's only going to affect the vision of the bad guy and not the students or the teachers or law enforcement? Of course not. They won't be able to see where the bad guy is. And they're sitting ducks. It took eight people to come up with this? Are you freaking kidding me? And I know some people will say in the comments, why are you coming down so hard on, these, on this guy and the people that, that developed this? Because it's not going to work. Sure, I applaud them for their effort. But like I said, the only way to stop this from happening in our schools is to harden up the schools and make sure there's at least one armed Leo in each of our schools in America. I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comments section down below. And if you like this video or if you appreciate the information that I gave you, please take time to like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications and I invite you back to see my next video.